Galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today, we are doing a reading for Aries. Aries is all about you, it's all about the Aries today. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. And remember that my Instagram for my tarot is going to be in the description box below if you want to um, have a personal reading, right? If you want a personal reading, you know where the price you know what the prices are as well, right? Or if anything, we can always negotiate, right? So, yeah. You know, yeah, that's all that boring stuff out the way, right? So now let's get into the reading for Aries, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Getting into the reading for Aries. Let's see what the universe has to say, okay? Okay. Okay. First card says, the hanged man, okay? <clears throat> so someone is watching you, okay? Someone is watching you. They're watching and looking at your happiness or your success. They're trying to try to get to your level, basically. They're trying to get to your level. They're trying to be where you are, right? Someone's watching you. They're watching you grow. They're watching you be happy, and they want a piece of that happiness as well, okay? The queen of cups in the reverse, all right? So I see that that is because that this person has health issues, right? This person is suffering from some kind of health issue, right? Maybe it could be like a heart disease or a lung disease. They could have cancer, right? They could have cancer. They feel bad because their health is declining, right? And their health is declining and they can't do things that they want to do, right? So when they look at you, they see you living your life and being happy, having a whole bunch of friends, right? You know, you're just doing your thing, okay? So they kind of are jealous of that, okay? Not kind of. They, they are jealous, okay? They're jealous over what you have. The Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I choked on my spit a little bit. But I am seeing here that you're juggling money and relationships, okay? Right? You're juggling money and relationships. So you're trying to make sure your finances are straight, Okay, but at the same time, you want a nice relationship, someone who's going to be honest and love you. You want someone who's going to match you, like click well with your personality. Okay, but you don't want to be in a relationship unless your money is straightened out first. Okay, you know, you're trying to focus on maybe like your career or, you know, you're like anything like like fi anything that can bring you financial financial gain. Right. Okay. You want to get your you want to get your situation sorted out first. The lovers in the reverse, okay? Okay, so I see that somebody left in your past, somebody left in your past like you did, like maybe because you were always working, right? You were always working and that person felt like they were no longer important to you, so they left, right? Or maybe at that time you didn't have, like you, they, they felt like you couldn't fulfill their needs, right? So rather than talking it out and working it out with you, they just went ahead and left, right? But whatever the case may be, they left because they felt like this relationship wasn't worth staying in. The star, okay? But Aries, you have nothing to worry about. You know why? Because you have some kind of blessing. You have some kind of good karma coming your way. You have something good happening, okay? There's something good that's about to happen. You just have to continue to have faith and, you know, you know, just believe in yourself and believe that something good will happen. Just keep doing you, okay? Just keep being the person that you are, okay? We're going to draw another five cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Our next card says, the king of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. So I see here that you are having a hard time keeping down a relationship because you're more um, concerned about making money, right? You're more concerned about making money than like than anything else, really. Which nine? Well, sometimes this isn't a bad thing because you know, like me personally, I uh, me personally, okay. Let's pause for a second. Me personally, I feel like 
anyone can be in a relationship but relationship but money unfortunately is what make the world go around okay money is what pays bills and rent and mortgage and payments like monthly payments and stuff like that so you know but it's just, you just got to have like that perfect balance between relationships and money okay but you aries in this situation you're really more concerned about your money than like as much as you want to be in a relationship you're more concerned about making money than actually making a relationship okay justice in the reverse okay i see that because of this you actually yeah well yeah you actually got dumped okay or you got divorced okay so like if you were dating someone you're more concerned about getting making money really okay so you weren't really emotionally there so you got dumped or because this this money 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 thing you had this money 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 mentality you got divorced okay either one of that okay so it's yeah so like i mentioned earlier you probably somebody left in your past okay so because of your money 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 attitude so they left you or they divorced you okay three of wands in the reverse okay okay now you feel like you should try to move on from this try to learn from this okay like you feel like you're supposed to like try to get out of that oh i need i'm just worried about making my money i'm not worried about nobody else try to break that mentality for a little bit okay and try to build an emotional connection yes you want to make your money but don't completely ass out somebody's emotions as well okay take this take that lesson and try to learn from it okay the nine of wands in the reverse okay so aries i see you're still fighting okay you're still fighting you're making that money right you're still a fighting spirit okay unfortunately you're a fighting spirit who has no army okay meaning that you're a fighting spirit that has doesn't really have like somebody in their corner okay because remember like i said you don't really have a lot of emotional connections because you're always constantly worrying about money only worried about your career and again you know normally this isn't a bad thing but when it comes to the point where you don't even want to be bothered with someone's like emotional connections with you then yeah that can go negatively because then who are you gonna have in your life in other than your family like don't you want someone to grow with you or just be there for you right so yeah the page of cups in the reverse okay right so aries you feel like you're gonna take your pride to the side and apology you've actually given that person that you neglected an apology okay whether you visited them or you called them up Right, you felt like you owed them an apology. You were just holding back on that apology because you felt, because at that time you felt like you were doing do, you were doing nothing wrong. You were just working, okay. So at that time you felt like nothing was wrong, okay. But now that time has passed and you realize, wow, I have nobody. You know, I barely have friends. Like da 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 da. da you know. So now that you realize, you know that this attitude that you have is influencing your emotional connections. You feel like you owe that person who did put up with you for a while an apology. So you would definitely apologize to them. An apology was made. Okay, and we're going to draw our last five cards. All right, next card says the Ten of Cups. Okay. Okay, so you kind of feel more content now that you've given that person an apology. You feel like like a uh, uh, side, like a little guilt has been lifted off your shoulders, right? And I'm also seeing here that you're having some kind of a happy ending. Maybe you've either reconnected with that person that dumped you or divorced you, right? Or you found a tight an entirely new love. Okay. Right, because I'm seeing that there's a happy ending for you. You're happy. You have a happy. You're getting your happy ending, right? And you feel content. Okay. So let's see where this goes. All right. The eight of wands in the reverse. Okay. So now I'm seeing that now that you have your happy ending, right? You can't help but feel that it's actually going to get taken away from you. Okay, because at the end of the day, you can't really change who you are. You still have this money, money, like 
mentality, okay? It's more like, okay, time to do this, that, you know, pick up some extra hours or da 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 you know, get, gotta get that paper stack, right? And while this is good, but remember, you don't want to repeat that same mistake. So you can't help but feel like you're, you're more, it's like, you're more, what is the word? Like you're more scared to make the same mistake, okay? So in this case, it, it, it is actually good to be scared because you don't wanna make that exact same mistake that you made in the past, right? So you're very more mindful, okay? You still have that money, money attitude, right? But you're more mindful and aware of what you do and what you say, right? And how you treat your partner. The sun, okay? Right? And they make you happy, right? They make you happy. So you definitely, you definitely scared to mess this up, all right? You really don't want to mess this up because you're like everything's back on track, you know, as far as your love life is concerned, right? So you really don't want to mess anything up. Death in the reverse, okay? Stand still, okay? I'm getting stand still here, okay? All right, so you feel so your partner your person is telling you to slow down okay all right aries like you're kind of you're the kind of person to move up down and all around right so your problem is that you can't just stop and smell the roses okay so everyone your person is telling you to slow down and just relax and that's what you've been doing okay you know and you never realized how beautiful things were now that you stopped to look around okay because you always you've always been on the go right but now that you're sitting down and just observing everything and taking everything in you're just like wow has this always been there or how you has your eyes always just been, always been this color and da 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 right yeah you know like you're doing that okay you're being more mindful and observative and our last card says the page of swords in the reverse okay all right so i'm seeing here that someone was blocked okay someone was blocked all right Maybe you blocked somebody on social media, right? Or maybe, or you got blocked, or somebody blocked your number, okay? All right, so maybe it was somebody who um, did not care for your happiness, right? Okay, maybe it was that exact same person that did not like your, like you, like you being happy. They hap they were happy that you were alone, okay? Right? I'm seeing here that they were happy that you were alone, but now that you finally found you found somebody all over again or you record reconnected with that old person right they're just like you know what i can't stand seeing this i'm gonna block th this person's number okay or their social media and that's what they did to you okay because you used to you used to think that you and this person that didn't like your happiness was cool like you, you used to think that you and that person were cool but i guess not because they blocked you all right so but that's okay they don't have to look at you being happy right because you are just going to enjoy every moment, okay? So Aries, I hope this did resonate with you and bring you any kind of enlightenment or on any on a situation that you were going through, right? I hope this did help with something, okay? I hope this did resonate with any of y'all. But if it did not, I remember, okay, I apologize. And it's not just going to resonate with every single person who's in Aries. This is just, you know, happens to resonate with whoever it feels like it resonates with your certain situation. Okay, right? You know, this was, wasn't specifically for you. Uh, again, my Instagram is in the description box. If you want a personal reading, I will gladly do so for a price. All right? I just want to make this clear because I saw those comments the other day and I'm just like, wow, these people are really in their feelings about this stuff. Okay? So, yeah. Again, personal reading if you want to. Okay? Yeah. So, this has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste. Thank you.